Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks and Disney, NASA are back in the fake stream media and are claiming to have done something which sounds like they've stolen the plot from that crappy Bruce Willis Hollywood movie Armageddon where they blew up an asteroid. Also, echoes of the Netflix movie released on Christmas Day last year starring Leonardo DiCaprio called Don't Look Up. Predictive programming again? And now we have NASA, it says here. This is what they are claiming. They crashed a spacecraft traveling at 15,000 miles per hour intentionally into an asteroid. This happened 6.8 million miles away, they say, and it cost, and it cost the taxpayers, 325 million. Money, 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 must be funny. And uh, yeah, the asteroid, it wasn't hurtling towards the Earth. They did this just as an experiment to test it out. And lots of people online are looking at the footage and saying, it looks fake. But many are replying and saying, well, you know, it, it looks so fake, it must be real. Yeah, that old Elon Musk chestnut. What were your, what was going through your mind? How, how amazed were you to see your roadster up there with Starman uh, just cruising along with the Blue Planet? And how long will we be getting live views, do you think, from the car? Well, I think it looks so ridiculous and impossible. Um, and you can tell it's real because it looks so fake, honestly. <laughs> now, this cost $325 million. Now, all I would say to you is, if you bought an artwork, a painting, for $325 million from a famous artist, you would really want to know if it was real and not fake, wouldn't you? before you spent all of that money. So what would you do? You would really check its provenance and be convinced it was genuine before you shelled out your money. So anyway, here, here is the scene of the impact oh, wow. from NASA's yeah. studio, okay? Oh, of the spacecraft yeah. hurtling oh, towards... Wow. Oh, Four, hold on, three, what, what is that? Two. Is that a potato? Is it a, a truffle? A black and white Ferrero Rochero. A close-up of a Scotch egg pulled out from the back of the sofa from last year's New Year's Eve party. Hold on. What's, what's that behind? What can I see there? Who are these little fellas? Who are these little pink people? I haven't seen them for years. Ah, oh, yes. I remember it's the Clangers. NASA have discovered the Clangers. They are real after all, everyone. That wasn't a BBC children's show. That was a real documentary. The myriad stars of the firmament. Perhaps this star, too, is home for somebody. Can we imagine the sort of people that might live on a star like this? Let us go very... Let us look and listen very carefully. And perhaps we shall see... And here. That is a clanger. And that is another clanger. They seem to have a piece of rope. So yeah, you've got that biblical line about a strong delusion being sent at the end of time to fool people. Some people think it may be Project Bluebeam. Signs of great wonder made to appear in the sky. Some think it might be a, a fake alien invasion. A fake second coming of Christ. But it may, it may already be here in the form of the fake stream media itself. And all of those black mirrors and devices that put these stories and images out into the public's consciousness. If there is any strong delusion forthcoming anyway then for those who didn't see it, then they would have to hear about it through the fake stream media anyway. Just a thought. As always, thanks for listening. Come and subscribe to the website hugotalks.com where you can be notified from source of all videos uploaded. See you later. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Eight, yeah. seven, oh, six, wow. five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh wow.
Awaiting visual confirmation. All right. We got it. Waiting. Waiting. And we. That is a clanger. <laughs>